So here's this video again, because some people were asking about the transition and I remembered to get rid of the sound so it didn't do anything weird to my voice. And I'll show you, all you have to do is change the volume. So if you have something at 100, you can just slide it down to zero and then there won't be any sound. So these are really simple and it's just using the distortion tool. So let me show you, I, I made a quick one um, with things that you would have in Create Studio. These are just some scenes. So this one, as that goes, in comes another scene. I can show you the timeline as it goes up. And then I used an end scene that had a computer, a, a, t um, a phone, but I'll tell you, as I see this, I don't really like it because the beginning of it is kind of chaotic. And so I don't think that transition looks good, but that's okay. Because you're not going to use these or do these exactly anyways. So let's go and show you where those scenes are. If you don't know, if you go to characters, click on the categories at the bottom, there are scenes and there's a bunch of them. And some from way back at the beginning that I always like. I like the walking one because he looks really happy. Um, then we can have the couple. I love grandma and grandpa. And then this one has a little bit too much transitions. So I don't think I want to use that one. Let's see what that one looks like. All right you're going to use videos or you're going to use images or whatever it is that you want to use. So let's start with grandma and grandpa. All you're going to do, and I might shorten this a little because we don't have to watch it all, is we're going to make sure that we are selecting this video. So it's highlighted in blue. Add an animation. I'm going to use linear for easing and distortion. And when you click distortion, position and scale automatically are selected as well. Go to your end keyframe. Go up to the distortion mark right here, this tool. And then you just click and drag the corners. Let's get rid of that. Click. So that's the mistake I just made is I was still highlighted on that video I moved. So it was changing that. So I have to go back to the keyframe to make sure that I'm. Don't you love my mistakes? You got to go back to the distortion. There. I should probably start re-recording, but maybe seeing the mistakes will help. Also, if you remember from my former, my earlier, um, tutorial on distortion, if you click on snap to grid right here, then you're going to be able to make sure that it makes sense. So I'm going to make sure I click on the distortion again and make sure that they're even. Let's see. There we go. Maybe a little further in. Now they don't look as distorted. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my next transition. And that one I had slide in. So I'm going to do make sure that's selected. I'm going to click on add animation and just position. And I'm going to have that happen on the end keyframe. I'm going to move this over and click on the first keyframe and move it off. Now I can move these keyframes. I can move the whole video so we can work on the timing. So I didn't do that yet. So let's see how this looks. That might look pretty good. That might be okay. Now what I have made a mistake on before, so I will show you that, is maybe I had this too late. And if you notice the end keyframe and the end of the video and the end of this keyframe of the incoming video 
Watch what happens over here to this video. It disappears. So you absolutely have to make sure that you're timing it so that this second one is all the way on before the next one finishes. So that did. So that was that one. Then we can do the same thing if we want to do a moving up transition as I did. So here I would just go on this, click on the video, add animation. I'll use linear properties distortion. Click on the end transition, the end keyframe. Click on my distortion tool and I don't know if I like that. Maybe there. So it slides in, you see it, it slides up. And then I want this one to slide from the bottom. I'm going to click on Add Animation, Position, Easing. That's where it will be for the end keyframe. The beginning keyframe, I am going to be down here. Then I'm going to click and move that keyframe to the beginning of the clip. Let's see those timings. There. So that's about all that you have to do. And I hope that that gives you some ideas of some fun transitions.